Right now, we are going live to Pearson Airport. This is where Transport Minister Omar al Gabra is set to announce improvements to security screening at the country's largest airports. The checkpoints and screening lines dedicated to verify travelers will be available at select airports across the country. Ilya Ora, Delin, Didier, Asse Voyager. This includes the following airports, Terminal 1 and 3 here at Toronto Pearson, Vancouver, Calgary, Edmonton, Winnipeg, and Montreal Trudeau. In addition, several other airports will offer verified travelers with front-of-the-line services. Under this program, eligible travelers will include members of Nexus and Global Entry. It will also include with a valid ID serving members of the Canadian Armed Forces and U.S. military, including reservists, Canadian air crew and airport workers, international air crew in uniform, and RCMP and other po police officers with a badge. The program will also now allow children who are 17 and younger and adults who are 75 and older to accompany verified travelers through security provided they are on the same reservation. So overall, as membership grows over time, the new verified traveler program will help improve the screening experience for more and more passengers while supporting the highest standards of safety and security. So I encourage interested travelers to learn more about the benefits of the Verified Traveler Program by visiting the CASA website. In closing, I want to thank all the workers in the aviation sector for their important role in making the experience of their customers a smooth one. And I know that the next few months are going to be very busy as the summer season is about to begin, and I'm confident with the preparation that has been taking place by airports, airlines, CATSA, and other um, organizations that we are ready for this summer season, and I want to reiterate my gratitude to all those who work in the aviation sector. Thank you all for being here. Merci. Thank you, Minister, for sharing this great news for air passengers. Now I'd like to invite Nada Saman, President and Chief Executive Officer of the Canadian Air Transport Security Authority, to the podium. Thank you so much for inviting me here today to be part of this announcement for the new Verified Traveler Program. Je vous remercie de m'avoir invité aujourd'hui. Airports, uh, about the Verified Traveler Program. Pearson, Vancouver, Calgary, Winnipeg, uh, Montreal. Uh, and this positive news, which is a result of strong collaborative effort both between CATSA and, and Transport we just Canada. heard the announcement from Transport Minister Omar al -Gabra about enhancements to the Verified Traveler Program. This is ahead of the busy summer travel season. Some of the enhancements include allowing children to go to the front of the security line along with their parents who are part of the Nexus or Global Entry Program. And right now we're going back live to Pearson Airport uh, where Transport Minister Omar Al-Gabra exactly is speaking. The 1.6, 1.7 million travelers you're referring to is a huge number as a percentage of travelers. And then if you include the, uh, the accompanied children or seniors who might be coming with them, that number will also grow. So it's a significant chunk of the travelers. Uh, there are also police officers and others. And I hope that now once people who are not Nexus member also hear about the additional benefits that Nexus holders have. Uh, they will consider um, applying uh, for this program. And as Karen mentioned, not only will this increase the efficiency for those verified travelers, but it will also increase the efficiency for other travelers when you have this streamlining process. It will enable CATSA to allocate resources accordingly. It can focus more on the non-verified travelers so they can be expedited or have done more efficiently. So I think it's a great announcement for those not only who hold Nexus and encourage others who don't have Nexus to, to obtain Nexus, but also the, the broader public. And my follow-up, last year, last May, you suggested that because of the pandemic, people were out of practice uh, because traveling was banned and that they were tying up lines because they weren't, they forgot how to travel, basically. Do you still feel that way or are there other deficiencies in the security system? Um, I, you know, I'll, I'll, 
I'll take exception to how you characterize what I said, because uh, last May I offered a, a comprehensive response to the causes of delays, and I talked about extreme peak uh, uh, volume of airlines, I talked about sh labor shortage, and I also talked about the little things that are contributing to it. Um, it's never meant to blame travelers, or, or I never called travelers or rusty, or I know those were other people's words. Uh, so so uh, look, um, I think what we saw last summer or last spring, starting early in the summer, a 300 percent increase in uh, travel volume uh, that certainly shook the system, and and every little thing caused further delay. And uh, I'm grateful to CATSA and airlines and and airports who come together last summer and did everything they can to address the bottlenecks that we had. And today we are in a much better place than we were last summer. Thank you. Hi, Minister Megan Fitzpatrick from CBC. I'm just a little confused on what exactly is new here today. It sounds like the adding the um, 17 and under and 75 and older that they can join the Nexus line is new, but can you specify exactly what's different from what you're announcing today than what already currently exists? I mean, you could use a Nexus card at other airports already, if I'm not mistaken, other than Pearson, right? Sure. So what we're announcing today is much more than what you described, Megan. Uh, even, uh, even though you could use your Nexus card before, but that just gave you a dedicated tr uh, line, but you still had to take your liquids out, you still had to take your, uh, your laptop out, you still had to take your jacket off. What I'm announcing today is that in the Nexus line, you no longer have to take your liquids out of your bag. You no longer have to take your uh, large electronic, including laptop, uh, out of the bag. We actually here at Pearson, we've been doing this pilot and in Vancouver for the last few months. And as someone who tr went through the line, I can tell you that enhances the efficiency and the, the speed at which uh, travelers are processed at, at a tremendous pace. Uh, so um, yeah, it's much more than just being uh, uh, having a dedicated line, it's the speed at which the, uh, the travelers process through the line. Okay, so you've changed the rules essentially Correct. for people. Okay, just on Nexus then, where are we at in terms of the backlog of applications given the long pause? Um, and Nexus really, I mean, that helps people who are traveling across the border a lot, but for Canadians who are just traveling domestically and maybe don't want to be part of Nexus and hand over all their personal information to the U.S. Border Protection Service, Service. Is there any other option for them to take advantage of these speedy lines without having a Nexus card that is in partnership with the United States? So to answer your second question, once now we are establishing the Verified Traveler Program infrastructure, we are exploring other options for travelers to, uh, to subscribe or register with the Verified Travelers Program. I don't have an answer for you yet, uh, but it, it does, um, um, we need to first establish the system in place to make sure that we have a tra uh, verified traveler program in place. Um, and we are utilizing existing verification methods like Nexus, like depending on the job that ones have, but we're looking and exploring other options. But I tell you, Nexus helps not just for international traveler or crossing the US, today will help travelers who are traveling domestically. Oh, sorry, and the backlog, yes, uh, it was unfortunate that we, um, um, because of COVID, um, that the Nexus uh, processing line was shut down. I was grateful uh, to find a way to eventually to restart the process. Currently, Nexus is processing 10,000 membership a week. So uh, the pace is picking up, and I am uh, hopeful that we're going to see uh, the backlog slowly and quickly, and slowly and quickly, quickly uh, uh, be uh, dealt with. Uh, but, uh, but the speed that's going at right now is about 10,000 a week. Hello, good morning. Thanks morning. for taking our questions, Minister Sam Sampson, CBC. We just spent the last week speaking with very upset Canadians who have been traveling via airline and there's a lot of skepticism about the airline industry right now in Canada. So how confident are you that this new measure along with whatever is coming down the pipe will help 
avoid the stress and the chaos that we saw last summer as well as this past holiday season. Yeah. Sam, I, I know that the last year has been really tough on travelers. Um, and I, you know, there are a lot of reasons. Again, the pandemic and the lingering impact of the pandemic, labor shortage, um, et cetera. And I know a lot of people have now lost confidence in, in or are being, are suspecting or questioning the ability, being skeptical about the ability of the institutions to service them. That's why the industry itself and the government of Canada have been working collaboratively. All of us uh, don't like to see erosion of confidence in travel. Um, every employee of the air sector is concerned about this and everyone is doing everything they can to address these issues. The government has been announcing various measures, including strengthening the Passenger Bill of Rights, including um, providing additional resources to CATSA, including now the new uh, idea of sharing information and shared accountability that we're working on and hopefully will be announced soon. All that is to strengthen the system, all that is to learn from the vulnerabilities that we saw over the last year, uh, and all that to re do our best to regain confidence of the, uh, the traveler uh, public. But I know that all of us, governments, uh, private sector, airlines, airports, are working hard to ensure that all travelers have the best experience they can. Thanks for that. On that note, those amendments that you mentioned have been heavily criticized for not going far enough. Uh, that parliamentary committee has made several recommendations to maybe change or change those amendments. How likely are you to maybe adjust some of those amendments or even go further and maybe have some rules that align with the European Union rules, for example? Look, I welcome the, the conversation. Again, it's, it's a great thing that we're having this conversation, and, and it's really led by our government wanting to strengthen the Passenger Bill of Rights, and I'm always paying attention to those who want to, ha to have ideas. Um, I'm, we're always going to be open for ideas, but I, there are some misinformations out there. I, again, I strongly believe that our proposed system will be as good, if not stronger, than the European model. Um, so I feel very confident that this model is going to be one, if not the strongest in the world. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll keep uh, our eyes open and ears open for ideas and suggestions. I have to follow up. Misinformation, what are you referring to specifically? Uh, so, uh, you know, there's this uh, comment that um, in Europe, the passengers get automatically compensated. That's not accurate. In Europe, you still have to apply as a passenger. If you have a grievance, you still have to apply to file a complaint. So that's just an example of, of, of misinformation. Thank you. Hello, Minister. And we've been listening to Transport Minister Omar al Gabra live at Pearson Airport, explaining enhancements to the Trusted Traveler Program, including allowing children 17 and younger and seniors 75 and older to go through the special security lines for those with Nexus.